See you later. Hey folks, Ariel over here at Find It with a video I've been waiting for quite a while to bring to you guys. So, quick review if you're new here or haven't been following all the videos over the last, what, nine years? Um, this is my tiny house, Fineth, Welsh for my nest, that I have lived in for many years. Um, to try to keep this brief, uh, th almost three years ago, our anniversary is coming up, uh, I got married to a wonderful man, and then we made some decisions together to do things that will help us in the long run that were really sucked in the meantime. That included him staying at his job where he spent almost 24 hours a day uh, for a few years so we could save up some money to do some of the projects we wanted at our own place, which meant that I was mostly by myself here for quite a while doing things. So I stayed in this same tiny house that I've been living very, very comfortably in for years, and it worked fine because he only got to be home one day a week, one evening a week, sometimes not at all during the week. So he still had a little cabin where he was working. I had my stuff in this space, as I always have, and we didn't really reorganize any of that for that period of time because we were basically living in separate places, which I have to say really, really sucked, <laughs> but I think this will pay off in the long run. Uh, back toward the end of last summer, he was able to leave that job and come here full time. And then the space in the tiny house became a problem because, well, I certainly know couples who, who definitely live in places this size together. This is about 158 square feet inside. Um, that didn't really work for our setup. I have pretty much every square inch of this place full with my belongings. I've lived in here for quite a while. I've done it very, very comfortably. But Clay has more stuff than I do because he has, you know, a lifetime of tools. He just likes stuff more than I do. He's not like an excessive junk collector or anything like that, but he has more things, items, memorabilia, clothing, everything that I do, and I didn't have any spare space left in here for a second person's belongings. So we were living in here, um, didn't have all his stuff moved yet because a lot of it was still in his cabin at work. Uh, he doesn't love the uh, those skinny ladder stairs up into the loft for sleeping. That didn't bother me, but it's not the most comfortable for him. So we have been, over the last few months, part of the reason there's been less videos is it's been a wonderful winter to actually get to spend time together. It has been a little bit like a honeymoon. We didn't go anywhere, but we got to spend a lot of time this winter just being together, whether it was shoveling snow, reading books, doing a puzzle, listening to a book, walking up and down the road, sitting on the swing, watching the snowfall. It's just been wonderful to have time together. But we have also been very, very busy with a project that I want to show you now that has temporarily resolved our space issue. Because the long-term plan is we are building a small house attached to the ground so that it can have things like a root cellar, the tiny house is on wheels, so that isn't real practical to do with this space. And we're hoping to maybe start on that house this spring. And you might have noticed last November when it would have been my anniversary of living in this house again, there's been an anniversary video almost every year since I moved in here, kind of with my thoughts on tiny house life and stuff. There wasn't one last year because we were in the process of actually moving out of the tiny house. So it is now mostly abandoned as far as us living in it. Um, it is still here on the property. She's not going anywhere. I have quite a lot of affection for this little place. I've lived for a very long time and at the moment she gets to be used when we have friends and family come visit as our little guest apartment. But in the meantime, we have done something else temporary that I think you guys will be excited to see. So come along. You probably remember seeing this space. This was a great big shop building that we got put up. And it was just metal with uh, uh, post construction. And you probably remember there was a few issues with the building crew that assembled that on the quality control and so on. Anyway, over the last little bit, Clay closed in one end, and believe it or not, I did actually help with a bunch of this stuff, but I noticed when I was putting this together, I did not get myself in any of the photos, but I don't know how to do all this uh, kind of thing, but I did help hand and hold and so on. I was a little bit involved, but anyway, it was definitely mostly Clay, and so it we were partway done in closing it here before we even had the idea, actually, to 
make a little space in this end of it to camp in until we get our house built. But as we were getting part of this done, it seemed to become a better idea. So you can see here how it gradually changed through time. We got things insulated and painted and plywalled. There's no drywall in here, just plywalling. Um, framed out a couple little rooms in the corners and so on. So now you're going to catch up to what this looks like today. And you'll see here toward the end of this little slideshow photo is how um, some of the stuff has gone through a few different iterations of adjusting as we collected things from the general area that other people didn't want and were getting rid of. So it's morphed a bit over time, but now it's pretty much staying the same. It's gotten pretty comfortable as we got partway done building there. We threw one comfy chair that we picked up in there so you could start sitting in a corner while we were uh, continuing to work on the rest of it. Then it started to get a little area where you could have a kitchen. The bathroom changed multiple times. Started out with just a composting toilet and then got the outdoor sink in it and so on. So it's changed a lot. So this is what's in one end of our shop. We have created a camping space in here. We were partially through the process of completing things in here to the point where Clay could use it for his workshop. You'll notice the outlets are at a normal workshop bench height and so on. And partway through there, we were discussing the, the situation with the bed, a, bed and sleeping setup being a little crowded. So why don't I build a little room in the corner? We can tuck a bed in there for now and we'll have like a little bedroom, especially where we weren't both in the same place all the time. That'll just be a temporary place for during that. So we start working on that. We're still finishing other stuff, working on uh, getting, you know, workbenches, shelving, that kind of stuff done for his workspace. And over time, this has morphed a little bit into we've pretty well barely sleeping behind the chair because that corner is his favorite. You want to come here? We've uh, morphed this into a pretty cool little camping mm. area that I'm kind of excited to show you guys around. So this was a lot of work. We did everything in here ourselves, which pretty much means Clay did it all. And I handed him things and did what I was instructed since I don't know how to build. And at some point in the future, this may one day again be a shop and turn back into that. But it is right now our camping spot in the end of the shop. It's a little bit more spacious than the tiny house. This whole little end here, this end of the shop is a little over um, 600 square feet. So not big, but a whole lot bigger than the 158 square feet in the tiny house. So let me show you what we've got going on in here. So everything in here will probably be in our house one day. but. I love that this is a whole collection of things that were basically free or very inexpensive and unwanted by other people. Clay had that really cool coat rack that somebody had given to him when they didn't want it. So that's inside the door, along with a boot pan. Nothing is fancy in here. It's still the concrete shop floor with a rug Clay had, a rug I found at a, a garage sale on the floor in the places we hang out the most. Got a bookshelf for free from somebody who was moving that I think was originally supposed to be an entertainment center or something. It's a little deep for a bookshelf, but it's old and actually made out of solid wood. It holds lots of books. Burley's acting like he'd like to go outside. Do you want to go out? Coming around from the bookshelf in the front there, got my favorite rocking chair. Somebody I was in a thrift store and somebody was unloading it and I asked if they were planning to sell it and she said, oh, you can have it. So that was another free piece of furniture I got. It's my favorite seat behind it here is one of my very favorite things. I've been looking for an antique functional ice box for years, which this is. They tend to be very expensive. I found somebody locally getting rid of one who didn't think anyone was interested in them and so didn't want much money for it. So we are not actually using that for refrigeration at this moment, but everything is fully functional. We probably will someday. Let me come over to our lovely little sitting area here, which has a fully free couch. Someone was getting rid of a very inexpensive chair from somebody's garage sale. Another inexpensive chair from another, I think that was from a thrift store. Um, they all kind of, especially the couch and the chair, kind of look like they match, which I think is neat because they don't. I'd had this old chest up in the loft for years, long before I moved in the tiny house. And we hung on the wall, one of my favorite wildlife photos, and a whole collection of friends and family 
pictures that is kind of our memory wall. Come around this way, we've got a bathroom, a little bedroom room. We go into the dining room area. The living room's right here. Everything's just one big room, but Clay had this table and chairs at his place. Like I said, I picked up that rug for free. We had found this stove secondhand and, put, and bought it before we even had done anything else at all in the shop. It has been absolutely wonderful. Um, our original goal was not to have it in any kind of living space at all, just to be able to warm the shop. It was cheap. It was old. Somebody was getting rid of it. We figured it would be sufficient for that need, but it... Uh, Actually, it's a wonderful stove. And just like the little stove at the tiny house, absolutely love watching the flames flicker here. Our wood bin needs filled at the moment. We got a little kindling bin here that's cool copper wash tub clay had. So that heats everything in here. Got a fridge and a stove that somebody was discarding because they got more modern looking ones. Um, got a little kitchen island there that's holding a whole lot of things right now that somebody else was getting rid of when they were moving. And then you'll probably notice our very temporary and impermanent kitchen cabinet setup. So again, these were ripped out by somebody else who was remodeling. They're just sitting there. They're not actually installed in any way. They're just sitting on the floor and they have a plywood countertop, which has been perfectly fine for working on. So that's the little kitchen area. Oh, we've even got a little sink right here. If you Open that up. I get water in the sink basin. When I want to empty the sink basin, I simply pull it out of its hole in the car uh, plywood and go water chickens with it, water a plant with it, whatever I want to do. So there is a full look around this room. The bedroom here is nothing fancy at all. Just a small room with enough room for a bed. The log bed frame somebody had out at the end of their lane for free. They wanted rid of it. The dresser's clay already had. Got a little temporary coat rack uh, or clothing rack. It's not any official um, closet or anything, which would be nice, but just one of those simple wire frames that holds all our clothes. And when you have winter clothing, that gets to be bulky. Anyway, that's our lovely little bedroom space, an old rug on the floor. Because again, these are still just plain old shop concrete. Coming the other way into our little bathroom. We've got more, uh, some of the spare cabinetry that didn't fit in the kitchen area that was torn out of the same place. Some clay's beautiful fish, fish up on the wall. This washing machine, which I'm really excited to show you guys how we use. And another little sink setup that will get, will, there'll be a separate video on the water system because clay made a really cool self-contained water system in here. We are still using a composting toilet. This one here is the bucket version versus the nature's head that's in the tiny house. Just very easy to get to. And that's the bathroom back out to our main room. So now that we're kind of settled in with our collection of other people's junk that they didn't want that I actually love. I love keeping things useful and not seeing them go in the landfill. Um, and like I said, this stuff will all go in the house one day and then who knows what will go on in this room, probably shop workbenches or something like that again. But anyway, um, you'll notice there is electric lighting in here. There, Clay already had the shop wired for his uh, tool purposes. There's he has quite a few um, construction type tools and some of them require power. But one thing that was very important to us is to keep everything actually important to life working, whether there was any kind of great power or not. So the only source of heat is this lovely wood stove behind me, and it keeps this entire place very, very toasty. Um, we can also cook or boil water on it. The electric fridge that somebody was discarding, even though there was nothing at all wrong with it, they just wanted a newer style. We are using that right now. I use an electric fridge in the tiny house as well, but I have that antique ice box that we can use if we need to. It's just storing other things at the moment, but it, it's fully functional and does work for refrigeration. We still, of course, have plenty of oil lamps, uh, kerosene lamps, candles, and so on, headlamps, 
lighting is no problem if there is no power. We are still using a composting toilet, so there is no kind of septic system or anything attached to here. And like I said, the water system is fully self-contained. It's very similar overall to the setup that I had in the tiny house where I filled the water and then I had running water until I you know, ran out and needed to fill it again. We have basically the same thing in here, but, but it's a little bigger, needs filled less often. And uh, Clay did a really awesome job that, and it's got a lot of details. So even though being in front of the camera is not his favorite thing, one of these days I'll get him to give you guys a full rundown of his beautiful little off-grid water setup. So even with no power, we can live in the end of the shop here comfortably. And hopefully this spring we will be starting on what I'm sure will be a slow process of building our actual little house and then all this stuff will migrate into there. But it'll probably be a while because we are planning to do it ourselves and that's going to take some time in between doing chores and enjoying life and gardening and cooking and all the other daily things. So that is a little peek in here and I'm really excited to start being able to do cooking videos. It's a little kitchen island which will make it so much easier to film things because the, the, my back isn't to the main room like it is in the kitchen in the tiny house. I want to show you guys how my uh, off-grid washing machine works and all of that stuff. So this was a, uh, a big step to move into our little temporary camping area and you'll probably also notice the, the you know there's no drywall in here. There's, there, our walls are all ply walled. I just painted them white so they look pretty tidy. I don't know if the camera can pick that up but there's no drywall in here or anything. It's just the same shop plywood. Um, it's pretty cozy and comfy and homey looking for being a temporary camping spot in the end of a great big metal shop building till we get our house done. And accomplished the goal of us being able to live comfortably, Clay not having to crawl up ladder stairs to go into our bedroom, and for us to be able to combine our stuff into a space because, like I said, I had the tiny house completely full of my stuff with no room for another person who had anything at all. Thanks for spending your valuable time with us. I hope you learned something interesting and useful. Or found something beautiful here.